Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing great because it's time for Billie Eilish's new album. I'm so, so, so hyped for this. There have not been any singles released, so I do not have a clue how this is going to sound. I mean, I'm lying. A single has been released together with the album launch, but I haven't heard it yet because it's released together with the album. But we have 10 songs, 44 minutes, kind of run it up. So it's, it's like... You know, it's 10 songs, so it sounds like a short album, but if you go to like the length of the album, which is 44 minutes, it's like pretty average size for an album, so it's not that short. Some longer songs on here, definitely, but I am extremely, extremely excited because I'm a few days late to listening to this album, and I've seen a lot of great reviews pouring in, and I just, ugh, I'm hyped. So let's just have into things with Skinny. So we really start off the album with emotional devastation. Okay, all right, I see how we're going with. Oh God, that was such a beautiful song and heart-wrenching and I love the lyrics of it and like Billy's voice and it's so vulnerable on it and it just, incredible, incredible. <laughs> Next is lunch, which I've seen the most people freak out about. I'm, I'm excited. I get why people are so obsessed with this one. It's so fun. Like, I don't know, it's a song about sex, obviously, but it doesn't necessarily feel sexy, just like very like fun and out there and bold. And I just, I really like it. It's also a bit tongue in cheek in its lyrics, which I really enjoyed. And yeah, loved it. Next track, I'm gonna apologize if I mispronounce this, but I'm gonna go with Sheila. <laughs> I really like this one. It felt a bit like it whisked me away, if that makes sense. It transported you into like a different universe and I really like that. The production on this is very strong. I feel like much more so than maybe like vocals or lyrics in a sense. It's a very long song. I do feel like it could have been a bit shorter just for my taste, but I did like it. Not to say it was bad because it wasn't. Next up we have Birds of a Feather. on this with me this giddy before. I'm not to say that she hasn't like I actually don't know if she's ever written like this much of a love song before. <laughs> oh this one is so sweet and I totally understand why this wasn't a heart stopper like day announcement because it feels so heart stopper. Everything about it just screams just like I don't know I don't know it's just a nice and a smile on my face the entire time it was so sweet and so lovely and I just this speaks to my inner romantic it really really does. <laughs> Next up, we have Wildflower. Another very beautiful, emotional song. I really like it. I like this kind of like concept of it. I think it's really interesting. And the lyrics are great. There's obvious kind of like vulnerability to it that I really like. And yeah, great song. Next up is The Greatest. Absolutely stunning, stunning song. I love the way that the voice again it like builds and like it explodes and then it goes back to like being very quiet. It is, oh, it is it's so good. And also kind of like a sarcasm in it a little bit. It just mm, it hits the spot that it leads to hit, and it just oh, so good. Next is L'amour de ma vie.
I really like it. It's like two songs in one and it's great. I love the vibe of the first half. I just, I thought it was, I don't know, it was different and I really liked it. And then it switched up in the second half and it was chef's kiss. I thought it was so, so well done. I also really like the team of the song, kind of like the lyrics of it and everything, what it's about. I just, oh, yes, I'm not a great track. Moving on to the diner. <laughs> was another incredible song i kind of like the darkness of it it also feels a bit eerie towards the ending i just oh it's a well crafted song i like the um, lyrics the storytelling of it all i really enjoy i think it's so well executed and now i have very bittersweet news because we've arrived to the second to the last song bittersweet <laughs> Again, one that's like a two for one, except kind of like the start, and then you have the middle and the end, like the start and the end feel the same, and then like the middle, you know what I mean? Anyway, <laughs> the middle part of that felt very Bella Bossa Nova, which is one of my favorite songs of Happier Than Ever, so I like that that had a similar vibe. Then for the rest, I also just like the song, I think it's really good. I actually love the more electronics vibe for this one. I think that's really fun. Typically that's not my style of music, but I think it works really well for this one. And I'm a fan. <laughs> I'm very sad to report we've realized we've arrived at our last song, Blue. <laughs> absolutely a gorgeous closer to the album i feel like it brings in all the different teams from that are floating around this album and like ties them together really well and has this sense of finality to it as well but also stands on its own really well like it's a gorgeous song even without the rest of the album attached to it and that's what i love at an album closer one that perfectly wraps it everything up but still stands on its own so strongly and that's definitely what we got from blue it's absolutely stunning and yeah, that brings us to the end, sadly enough. I feel like we only just started, but we're already at the end. How did this happen? Picking up the tree is gonna be difficult though, because I absolutely adore this album. I think one is gonna be Birds of a Feather, because I just, I'm a hopeless romantic at heart, so what do you expect from me? And two, I'm gonna put L'Amour de Ma Vie. I just, I thought that was a really fun song. And then on three, I'm gonna put Skinny because if you're gonna make me sob right from the bed, that deserves a number three spot, you know? So yeah, this was such a, such, such, such a strong album. I feel like it was over without me realizing it was over and it just made me feel sad. But it's such, strong, it's such a strong album. Every song on this album is a banger. I really love the different kind of things Billy did. Like Billy and Phineas did throughout this album, kind of like, Tonally, I feel like there's even within a song sometimes so much going on, but it all works together really well. Like it feels like a really cohesive album, even if it has so many different things going on within it, and it just works really well. I like the different themes discussed in this album, the lyrics absolutely amazing, and Billy's vocals, of course, absolutely stunning. I just, oh, oh, I absolutely adore this album. It is so, so good, and just 10 perfect tracks back to back to back so yeah let me know in the comments what you thought of this album if you'll listen to it as well as your top three i always love seeing other people's top threes and then hopefully i'll see you next time Bye.